Well, of course, it might be evening or wherever you are. I don't know. Um, oh, and no deans and no dellas, no dezels and no debts. You know, you don't want, we don't want to forget about the three women that watch my channel. We love you. So, it is freaking hot outside. I have a fan going, which is, that's why you hear the... In the background. And I promised Leslie we would do a slow day sitting around in the backyard with the dogs, the cats, and the ferrets. So, I picked a simple pedal, an easy pedal, and a brand new pedal. The Ocho! For eight. That was my idea. Um, from the Joyo. Uh, we always kick around ideas and I just think, you know, going to a number is easy. An octave Ocho, it makes sense. I think that's a language from Ocho. Uh, is that Spanish? Ocho, I, I, I don't know. Might be Serbian. Who knows? Anyone from Serbia chiming in? I don't know. So, uh, it's a traditional octave monophonic. What does that mean? Monophonic means one note at a time. So, it can't do chords. It's not polyphonic. Polyphonic means rip, chords, and it can pitch chords. Uh, monophonic means one note at a time. Uh, Minimoog synthesizer is monophonic one note at a time you play the second note the first note disappears it's so hot that i'm drinking peppermint raspberry is that what it is tea no coffee it's just it's just too hot for coffee so cheers it's actually not bad i mean it's not as good as coffee oh man no i want a coffee so this is a very simple, very straightforward... I almost had this in the second camera going. This was stupid. Um, very simple pedal. I play this beautiful Maybach Telemann. Into the Ocho, you want your octave and pitch pedals to be before everything else. Because it's pretty much like you're just giving the guitar a different note height and then going into everything else. Don't go through your drives and then the octave. That's, that doesn't make sense. It needs a very clean signal to do its pitching. This into the Ocho, into the Engel Metal Master, because of course, octave sounds with tellies. Ah, T style guitars is um, what you do. No, it's just sitting there, and it's got a good sound. <sighs> Meon, how can I help you? You're, you're, in, my, you're in my video now. We are filming the uh, Joyo Ocho Octave Mini Pedal. It is awesome, o o octo delicious. <laughs> octo oct awesome. Well, I guess I'm going to have to cut some of this out now. Yeah. Wie kann ich dir helfen? So I'm back. Mayon asked me if I have a picture of a completely exaggerated, overdone, unnecessarily big pedal board. <laughs> yes, I do. I indeedy do. 
So, um, the old show. Into the Metal Master, into the Torpedo Studio, clean. Without the old show. Of course, those are chords. We can't even do chords. Knobs, octave one and two. Octave one is I'm gonna get down the level. Level means the clean guitar, the dry level. So octave two is actually two octaves lower. Okay, so now of course the, the hip thing nowadays is octave below and above. We, we don't have that here. We have two octaves below. So let's get a lot of dry signal. And get two octaves lower a little bit in. Get a, to get a little bit more heft, a little bit more weight, why not? So why not? Let's go to drive on the Engel Megal the Engel Megal 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 the Engel Megal Megal the Engel Megal Megal Engel Metal Master. simple pedal there's uh, really th this, this video is already too long for a pedal that does two octaves below and gives you your drive signal through so what do you think what do you think I don't know and the question is what do I think because I can't well what do you think comments below but um, what do I think some of you seem to think that's important for reasons I can't understand well, for a traditional octave pedal, it does its job flawlessly, absolutely fine. It tracks better than the boss I once had here, uh, where it was the octaves were jumping, jumping around. Um, so, 
I think for your traditional lower octave pedal, beautiful. Absolutely great. It clocks in at somewhere between 69 and maybe 75 euro dollars, depending on where you are, plus minus tax, whatever. So that should be the price. And in that price range, absolutely fine. I had the Veilton Octave the other day. Uh, in my big Veilton 13 pedal video, and that was one of the Veilton pedals that actually really stood out. Really cool, sturdy design, bigger than this. Um, I think it only had one octave. I'm not, I'm not sure, I can't remember. But great octave pedal, just as good as this, but clocks in at about 100. Well, now let's talk about what's, what else is on the market, because we have to. I know this puppy is mine the name is mine and yes joyo pays me to say great things about joyo and i will if there's good stuff to be said about joyo and there's a shitload of good stuff to be said about joyo the freaking beale street hell yeah the bantam series fuck yeah the original pedals vintage overdrive is a classic um as are is is the american the the classic chorus is still one of the best chori choruses that I know. Great pedals, and I will say good things when there's good things to be said. This is a good monophonic octave, but there's a big hype right now about polyphonic octaves and octave generators with an octave above, or maybe two octaves above. Now, TC just came out with the sub and up, which I think clocks in at 110 euro, has polyphonic mode which works fine two octaves below one octave above it has classic monophonic mode like this which works just as fine but it also has an editor with usb and uh tone print beaming technology okay it's not as small so maybe your octave should be really tiny to be i don't where's my no with my that, that's what she said pedal your octave should be tiny that's what she said no she didn't say that anyway this is cool for you need that in one song stash it away on your pedal board and don't waste any space killer if you want more functions the tc sub and up is a good option now of course electro harmonics has done killer shit on the market i mean the pog is a classic pedal and then there's the micro pog and the nano pog which all do uh, a decent job um, now walrus audio uh, we're talking about 360 bucks my phone's freaking out uh, walrus audio 306 no 339 the luminary which is a quad octave generator two octaves below two octaves above but with fade in and filtering and all that stuff so okay not 69 bucks but those are polyphonic um there is the Digitech Drop, which I've presented to you. That's different. That completely detunes your guitar. It does have an octave mode where your guitar and the lower octave uh, is 50-50 in there. So it's dry and octave below, but there's no mix. So you could use it as an octave pedal, but not quite as flexible as this is. Um, then again, for detuning, the Drop Killer pedal. So yes, there are options. In this price range, I don't really know any that work that well. Um, there's also the Harley Benton, something octave. Uh, what is that? Let me, I don't know what it's called. Oh. The uh, OC5. Yeah, it's... Ocho kicks its ass. First of all, it's rather big. That's what she said. There it is. Um, and um, well, it has a dry out, which is kind of cool. It has blend, high filter, bass filter. It has a couple of more knobbies, but the tracking simply isn't. This is just, this. the tracking is great. And it's all about how beautifully the, do the notes come when you play fast lines. So, yes, that's an option that is in the price range of the Ocho, but bigger and not as recommended. So if you want more out of your octave pedal than just your, your traditional octave lower in monophonic mode, um, the Ocho is not for you. If this is exactly what you're looking for, for one or two songs, uh, this is great to put on your pedal board because it's very, very tiny. If you need more options and you want those organy kind of octave up 
uh, kind of Leslie sound, not not my Leslie, Leslie speaker, uh, B3 organ sounds, um, th this can give it to you. Also, if you need polyphonic, chordal octaving, oct octaving, octaving, I don't know, then again, it doesn't do that. But at the price point of under 100 euro for the size and the sound that it delivers, it is recommended if that's what you're looking for. That's my two cents. Go away now.